Let's first welcome to the ring, coming to us from Australia, Mark the Viking Damuri. Well, the most notable name on this man's record is David Hay, former world champion at cruiserweight and heavyweight, who was beginning a comeback back in 2016 and dispatched Damori inside a round. Damori has been very confident during the various set-piece events here in Riyadh during fight week. But this is a huge leap up in class once again for the man from Perth in Australia, who spent a decade or so very recently in Croatia, the home nation of the man he's facing tonight, but moved back to his homeland earlier this year. And he knows what an opportunity this is. But the bookmakers suggest that this potentially is the most one-sided event of the evening. And this then the arrival of 31-year-old Filip Ergovic. Olympic bronze medalist now looking to make a mark in the professional ranks. And now let's welcome to the ring from Croatia, the undefeated Filip El Animal Hergovic. And a decent round of applause for the man from Croatia. Boxing once again on an Anthony Joshua undercard as he did last time out, when by his standards he laboured to a late stoppage win against the Aussie, another Aussie, Dempsey McKean. And if he's looking for a defence for that performance, then it was his first appearance in a year and previously he'd beaten the giant Chinese heavyweight Xilei Zhang. Hotly disputed, but given Zhang's two performances after that in beating Joe Joyce twice in a row, that form looks way, way beyond anything that Mark Damori has achieved in his career. Ergovic really must look good tonight. Deceptively effective, but not always easy on the eye. Tonight he has a chance to produce something very sparkling. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with 10 rounds scheduled in the heavyweight division. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions. For Riyadh Season and National Events Center in association with General Entertainment Authority, Gold Star Promotions, and Sella. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge, Robin Smith, timekeeper is Jason Booth. Our three judges assigned, all from England, will be John Latham, Kevin Parker, and Michael Alexander. Our referee in charge will be Mark Lyson of England. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, he comes to the ring wearing black with white and weighed in officially at 249 pounds. Coming to us from Perth, Western Australia, 
He brings a professional record consisting of 41 wins, two defeats, two draws, with 36 of his 41 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark the Viking DeFury. And his opponent across the ring, fighting tonight out of the red corner. He comes to the ring wearing white with red and weighed in officially at 243 pounds. Coming to us from Zagreb, Croatia, he was a 2016 Olympic bronze medalist and now as a professional is undefeated with 16 wins. 13 of his 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Philippe El Animal Hergovic. Okay, Mark. Okay, boxers have already spoken to you both. You know what I expect. Stay professional, obey my commands, and most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, boys. Good luck to you both. So this, as I was saying, potentially the most one-sided affair on the card. Bookmakers in the UK having Urgovic at odds of 1 to 50. In other words, you put on £100, $100, and you win just two. For the first round. That's the golf in class in terms of their records, going back to Ergovic's amateur days and that bronze medal at the Olympic Games, and now unbeaten in 16 in the professional ranks. A well-travelled man as an amateur and a pro. Nine countries on his record in only those 16 fights, and the third time he's appeared here in Saudi Arabia as Demori tries to land an overhand right, but almost pulled it before he threw it. So apprehensive. Let's see if he backs up what he's been saying all week. He understands he can't win this fight at rank, so he said he's going to get on the chest and try and land big shots on Hergovic, who, for me, he has to look good, like you say, Mike. He needs to get this job done early in dramatic fashion. Yeah, Demori's been... You know, he has two losses, he's been stopped twice in both of them in the first round. I expect this one to heat. This looks like round. yet another one. Overhand right, down he goes. And the best part of two minutes still to survive. Well, that's going to be the shot. It's going to be that right hand, and I don't think this is going to go much longer. He should just work behind that jab, the right hand will follow. As I say that, don't worry, he throws a big right hand himself, but... The Australian swinging for glory, but surely only likely to walk onto one. As Ergovic now goes looking for the finish, and Demori turns his back, and what's the referee going to do here? The referee's saying that he got hit behind the head, but Demori's turning his back. And here comes the towel. And the referee steps in at the same time with more than a minute to go in the opening round of what was quite simply a mismatch on paper and a mismatch in reality as Filip Ergovic makes it 17 in a row, 14 inside the distance. It will never get easier. A mismatch on resume as well. I mean, this is the thing about matchmaking. We have a, a, an Olympic gold medal, uh, an Olympic bronze medalist in Ergovic. And most of his fights, all of his fights were he was fighting winners. The difference between the Mori is in 45 fights, only three of those fighters had winning records. That's why resume matters in boxing. Yeah, regardless if those shots were around the back of the head or not, the corner did the right thing because they've just saved their man from getting seriously hurt. He couldn't miss with the right hand. Hergovic, we know he's a big puncher. 13 KOs out of 16 wins, 14 now. But levels and levels above this man, Mike. And in days gone by in the amateur ranks in Eastern Europe and beyond, they would go back after this and make him have a decent workout in the locker rooms to just 
use up and absorb the energy that he's built on the way to the ring and, and all through fight week and the preparation in general. Absolutely. And, and here's, the, here's the thing, look, he got hit with that big right hand. That was a clean right hand up right on the temple. He probably never felt power like that. Urgevich had a big right hand. But as far as when he got up, he was turning his back, which is something that no fighter should do. So the referee should have warned Demori instead of <laughs> yeah. uh, instead of warning Urgevich for hitting behind the head. There's no other choice but to hit the side of the head when your opponent is turning his back. Yeah, like I say, the corner doing the right thing. That's an absolute fine shot there. That's on the temple of Demori. That one slightly around the back of the head. But there was absolutely no chance that Mark Demori was winning this contest. He landed some big right hands, but had no effect. And you can see Urgovich was going to throw that right hand again, but he knew that he was going to land it behind the head. So credit to Urgovich for being a gentleman right there because he could have <laughs> thrown that right hand, but he knew he had a wounded fighter in front of him that really didn't come to fight more than three minutes. Let's get the official time then from our MC, Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 46 seconds of round number one. Our referee in charge, Mark Lyson, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner, by way of technical knockout, and still undefeated, Philippe El Animal. Here go bitch! Seventeen unbeaten then for Filip Ergovic from Croatia. Olympic bronze medalist back in 2016. Edgar Belanga returning to action on the zone February the 24th in Orlando facing Northern Ireland's Borig McCrory in a 12-round super middleweight main event. Belanga, of course, the man who started his career with 16 straight first-round stoppage wins and looking to get back to those knockout winning ways. So Filip Ergovic then, winner of a very, very comfortable night for him and he's talking.